friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I am here today to share with you how my week went, we'll talk about setting some goals for next week, the WW Workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. This is the final weigh-in for the month of August, so at the so I'll be sharing with you my overall weight loss for the month and how much I have lost total. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. I do this weigh-in video, workshop topic recap, setting goals video every single Friday, and I do upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I can't can't stress enough how incredibly important this is, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and last but not least, come on over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. I hope you had a really, really great week, and as always, Per usual, I'm very, very excited that it is Friday and it is the weekend. We don't have a whole lot planned this weekend. We are in the market to purchase some new faucets and a new shower for our spare bathroom. When we bought this house, it did not have a soft water system and the water here is so hard that everything is that bronzy brown color and then it's just coated in hard water. I have tried soaking the shower head in vinegar nothing works. So we are in the market to pick up a new shower head and new faucets for both of our bathrooms. We do have some guests coming into town before the end of the year that will be utilizing our guest bathroom. So that's one thing that we may do this weekend is head to Tucson and go to Lowe's and look at shower heads. How exciting is that? And I'm considering considering if I'm going to Tucson anyways that I may stop by Crumble Cookies because the cookies for this week look really good. And hey, Hey, it's been a couple weeks since we've picked up crumble cookies, so I may do that too. We'll just have to see where the weekend takes us. We will be going out for dinner on Saturday, as always. That is something that Troy and I really enjoy doing, and that is going to a local restaurant and having just a good little date night out to dinner. I have been so busy with nutrition coaching, figuring people's macros, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, which makes me really happy. That is the piece of my job that I really, really enjoy, because when you're successful, that's when I feel like I'm successful, so it's just a really, really rewarding piece of my job. And so many of you have had your macros done and are killing it in your weight loss. So congratulations. And if you have not got your macros done, highly, highly recommend. So I've been busy with that, of course, filming and editing videos and doing my workouts. So I am still working out seven days a week. Four of those are in the gym and the other three are just moving my body. I do have a rest day on Sunday. I actually get this question a lot is, why do I work out seven days a week? Well, actually Sunday is a rest day for me. I just choose to make it an active rest day. So I just go on a 30 minute walk on Sunday as well as my meal prep and Troy and I clean the house. So it's a pretty active day for me, but it's still my rest day. I don't hit the gym on Sundays. As I also mentioned, I did get some more work done to my tattoo. I have not revealed it yet because it is not done. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get everything done in this second session. My skin gets angry and starts to sweat and becomes a little bit uncomfortable. So we were able to get all the color put in, but we still need to do the background and a little bit more black and gray. So I will be going back for a third and final session sometime in October. Once my tattoo is completely done, we'll do the full reveal and I'll, sh I'll share with you what piece of my tattoo represents my weight loss. So I'm really excited. It is just a little bit longer between this session and my final session, because if you didn't know, I actually leave for Hawaii on September 15th. I'll be in Hawaii with my best friend and my mother-in-law for about six days. I come home for three or four days and then I leave again and fly out to Orange County, California for a nutrition conference for another three or four days. So it just doesn't work out to get back into the tattoo parlor for my final session until the beginning of October. So hang tight, the reveal is coming. And with getting my color put into my tattoo, that prevented me from going to the gym for about three days. I have to not sweat heavily for a few days. So I was so excited on Monday to get to go back to the gym. I even posted on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here for you. Definitely come follow me. I post there every single day and 
I share my workouts and just day-to-day -day life on there, but I posted my excitement for being able to get back into the gym. Really, who am I? I never thought that I would miss the gym, more or less be excited to go to the gym, but here we are. I'm really loving my exercise routine, my fitness routine. Like I always say, that motivation comes from results and results come from consistency. So because I am so consistent in the gym, I am seeing results, which really, really motivates me. So it just makes me excited to get back to the gym every single week. Nothing was changed in my fitness routine or my food this last week. I am doing what is called calorie cycling and carb cycling. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what that is and how that can benefit your weight loss, let me know down in the comments and I'll put it in a video or do a dedicated video on it. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. But overall, my week was really good. I'm killing it with my workouts, killing it with my nutrition, and I'm getting closer and closer to the little goal that I set for myself prior to going to Hawaii. So overall, my week, 10 out of 10. But before we jump into my weigh-in for the week, let's chat about this week's WW Workshop topic because it goes hand in hand with what I was just talking about, and that is how to move your body more and actually enjoy it. Are you feeling kind of meh about your current activity routine, or do you not even have an activity routine, but you're interested in starting one? The key to follow and stick with and being consistent with activity is to find something you enjoy. Now, are you going to love the treadmill, the elliptical or running outside? Maybe, maybe not, but the key is to find something that you actually enjoy. That is what, that is how you're going to stick with it. So we need to think about it, deep dive into what kind of activity would make us look forward to actually doing it. So we have some tips from WW on how to really think about what type of activity would be best for us. Number one is to think about how you feel during and after being active. Think about how you want to feel. Maybe you want to be calmed. Consider things like yoga, Pilates, stretching, and hiking. Maybe energy is your goal. Look at walking, jogging, cycling, team sports, skiing, and swimming. Maybe you want to be strong and have lean muscle. Think about strength training, kickboxing, bar, rowing, and body weight exercises. Maybe you just want to be happy after your workout. Things like dancing, skating, gardening, tennis, pickleball, team sports, and the trampoline can lead to happiness. Or is there another feeling that you're looking for? Which one of these activities actually align with that feeling? The way we feel before we go and do the activity, and even more importantly, after, plays a big part in whether or not that's something we're going to stick with. If we're actually excited to do it and we feel really good after, we're more likely to be consistent. Secondly, narrow down activities based on what else you know about yourself. Think about this, I'd like to spend time with just me, myself, and I, one or two of my friends, or maybe a whole group. I'd like to be active at home, at a gym or fitness studio, outside in nature, in a pool or another scenario. For me, I am an independent workout person. Now, I used to go to Jazzercise and I did enjoy the group workout, but now that I am really focused on fitness and strength training, I like just going to the gym, being outside and just doing my activity by myself. I don't see myself partnering with a friend or joining another type of group activity because I really enjoy fitness alone. You just have to decide what works for you. And lastly, make a detailed plan based on your answers then put that in to action. Think about this. I want to feel blank. What was your answer from step one? So I'll try blank activity. I'll ask so-and-so to join me at such location. I've got energy and can make time in my schedule at this time of day. Work your activity into your schedule. Pretend your exercise is a doctor's appointment, a hair appointment, a nail appointment, a pedicure. Work it into your schedule. Write it into your schedule. This is how it will become part of your day-to-day -day life. I don't even think twice about my fitness routine anymore. It is just part of my life. It is just something I do every single day. Now let's dive a little bit deeper. Maybe you have a friend that just raves about her workout class. She just loves it so much. She loves the camaraderie and she feels like she gets such a great workout. Or maybe you have a friend that talks about how great swimming is and how it's such a good form of exercise. The perfect activity routine doesn't exist, but what's perfect for you is the one that doesn't feel like a chore. If you enjoy it, you'll stick with it. And that's just the bottom line. That's the science of exercise. So instead, 
instead of chasing what you think you should do, focus on what you want to do. You may have to try out several different exercises, several different fitness routines before you actually find one that you enjoy and that you'll stick with. Maybe it's at home, maybe it's outside, maybe it's at your local gym. Try out everything, go to a workout class, try swimming, try going to the gym, try the treadmill, the elliptical, the bike, find what works for you and what you like. And it's okay to trial and error it out until you find that perfect fitness routine for you. I've tried a lot of different fitness routines, a lot of different exercise programs and classes, and I really feel like what I'm doing right now is meant for me. It's delivering the results that I want, I look forward to it, and it falls into the activity that doesn't feel daunting and meh, and it's actually something I really, truly love and enjoy. Like I said, really, who am I? So I really, really like this topic, and I know that it's important from personal experience to find something you enjoy and that you'll actually stick with. So let us know down in the comments, what are your favorite exercises and your favorite activities? Maybe you'll inspire someone to try something new, or maybe you do some type of activity that's unconventional that may inspire someone to try that out as well. So now let's go ahead and jump in to my weigh-in. Like I said, I feel like overall, I had a really, really good week with fitness, with food, drinking my water. In fact, I have my trusty water right here. As always, I'll tell you kind of a funny story on the side. Every time we do something with my in-laws and I ask my mother-in-law what I should bring, like maybe we're going over there for dinner or they're coming over here for dinner, all she says every time is, oh, just bring your water bottle because that is a piece of me. And she knows that with Jen, comes Jen's water bottle and I just think it's really funny that that is something that she's noticed and I just kind of giggle every time she says just bring your water bottle because it is just such an attachment and a piece of who I am which is not a bad thing because that water bottle helps me get in my water every single day. So when I stepped on the scale today I was happy. I am down one additional pound. I will tell you that for the last three weeks I have lost at least a pound and most of those weeks over a pound, which is really, really great for me considering that I am very much into fitness and strength training and I'm not too far from my goal weight. So of course my weight loss is going to slow down. I attribute this one to over one pound weight loss for the last few weeks to my calorie and carb cycling that I've been doing. It's really been working for me. And again, let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see a video on that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up here on the screen the total amount of weight loss for the month of August plus what I have lost overall. I can't believe you guys, I've lost over 123 pounds. Like that's a small person. That's a human being and that is insane to me. Every time I think about it, it just blows my mind. And also every time I think about it, I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud of myself that not only have I lost over 100 pounds, but I'm continuing to lose weight. I'm leaner, stronger, healthier than truly I've ever been. And I'm enjoying the process. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. This is my lifestyle. I eat what I want, when I want in moderation. I don't restrict or eliminate anything. And I know this is something I can stick with and I'm confident that I'll be able to not only continue to lose the last bit of weight that I want to lose, but keep it off long term. And that is empowering. That is an amazing, amazing feeling. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? How was your weigh-in? What activities do you enjoy? Of course, let me know if you're interested in carb cycling, calorie cycling content. I love hearing from you guys and you always brighten my day and give me tons of ideas for videos in the future. So thank you in advance for commenting down below. Also, don't forget to give this a video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. I'd love, love, love to have you here. And like I said, we do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, join our Facebook group and come on over, follow me on Instagram. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow grocery haul. It is Costco stock up time, so it is a massive, massive haul. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!